Right, so just turned up to this one. There's two issues with this one. There's no heating. Um, it was just the batteries have run out of the thermostat. The other one is a leak. And as you can see there, a little puddle of water from the diverter valve. So I'll have to quote up and come back and replace. Right, so that one there, got a, um, obviously a sort of heating out because that was just the, um, the batteries have died. Uh, so that's sorted, but then there was also a report of a leak. And obviously we saw that from the diverter cartridge. So I'm gonna head back to the van now, put my stuff in and go and get it. Lovely to get all that gear in there. So just pop into the city plumbing, just get the part. Right, so we've got the uh, part. This is the part number 7656807. Uh, get back to the job. So tools wise, just got my drain down bucket, got my hose into a hose. And we've got it onto the drain down point. I'm outside, but I'm in the high, you know, I'm in a flat, so I'm in the, high, I'm at the highest point. So we put the truck pressure down. Just need to disconnect this, take this out, take the motor out, and then we'll start getting it out. There you go, so I've got that out. You can see it's been leaking for quite a while. I think because it's outside. Just there, uh, it gets overlooked and we'll just top up the pressure. There you go. So we're getting that. Yes, I know there is a tool. Can I find it? No. So just a pair of grips and it did come up quite easily. There we go. Right. If you don't know. As you will see here, there's a difference. Okay, but this is the updated part, so they've got rid of this plastic bit. Now, what can happen is when you take this out, this bit, because it's just plastic, it can snap off or it can be left in there. So um, just be aware of that when you're putting the new one in. If it looks like an old one and it's still got the spring on the bottom, then fish this out or break it out, one of the two. But we'll get this opened up and get that in. So, what I'm going to do is just grease up this seal. Right, I don't know if you can hear this gurgling. But that is a surefire way to show that the expansion vessel is full. So once I get this back in, I will repressurize that as well. Because the uh, the other one was too uh, the handle wouldn't, wouldn't fit it wouldn't flick up it was hitting against the top of the case so give it a recharge. So do the drain off. Up. I'll leave my leave my hose attached just in case. Come down to the filling loop. Obviously checking for leaks. Up to pressure, power back on. Let it sort itself out for a minute. Cool. So give it a demand. Hopefully, this should click on. Which it has. And I'll vent the pump. Hopefully. Sure, how to put this into uh, service mode. So, put both dials back to zero, and then click this. Uh, I think it's this one. I think it's this one twice. You see. It. Like the SF, and this is how you do the temperature control. So, minimum, 
maximum. Zero, zero. Show one hundred. So, job done. Got all my readings. They're all fine. Easy to tell it's in peace.